Welcome to Electron Online. In this example, we're going to show you how to do a matrix multiplication where the matrices are not square matrices, they're actually of different sizes. And yes, in some circumstances you can multiply them together, in other circumstances you can't. And the key is that these two numbers must be the same. So for example, we have two matrices C and D. Matrix C has dimensions m by n, which means m number of rows and n number of columns. And matrix D has a dimension p by q, which means p number of rows and q number of columns. And the only way that you can multiply two matrices together is that the number of columns of the first matrix equals the number of rows of the second matrix. Those two numbers must be equal. And the resulting size of the product, the matrix of that product, will be equal to the number of rows of the first matrix times the number of columns of the second matrix. So here we have two matrices, A and B, and they're obviously not square matrices. They don't have the same number of rows as columns. Can we multiply them together? Well, the dimensions of matrix A is two rows by three columns, so this is a two by three matrix. And the dimensions of matrix B is three rows and one column, so this is a three by one matrix. And you can see that, yes, indeed, the number of columns of the first matrix equals the number of rows of the second matrix, so therefore we can multiply them together. So you say, yes, it's possible. And secondly, the size of the resulting product matrix, so the size will be a two, that will be a two row times one column matrix. So two row times one column matrix means that you'll have a matrix with two rows like this, one row, Here's the second row, and simply one column. So that will be the size of the resulting product matrix. You'll just have two elements, two rows, one column. All right, so how do we multiply these together? So here we have A multiplied times matrix B, which is equal to 1, 4, negative 2, 3, 5, 2, multiplied times the matrix 6, negative 1, and 3. So that will result in a matrix looking like that, with just two elements. And the first element can be obtained by taking all the elements of the first row of the first matrix and multiplying times all the elements of the first column in the second matrix. Of course, there's only one column, but it's the first column. So we multiply these three elements times three, those three elements, and we get the following. For the top element of the resulting matrix, we get one multiply times six, and again, sometimes it helps to do like, like this with your pencil or your fingers. You go one times six plus four times negative one plus negative two times three. You, you move to the left with your left hand and down with your right hand along the row and along the column like that. So it's one times six plus four times a negative one plus a negative two times three. And that will be the element the first element or the top element of your resulting matrix and now to get the second element you will multiply the second row times the column. There's only one column here so it'll be 3 times 6 plus 5 times a negative 1 plus a 2 times 3. And then if we simplify that we get the following. That would be 6 minus 4 that's 2 minus 6, that would be a minus 4. And over here we get 18, minus 5 is 13, plus 6 is 19. And that is the product of the two matrices A and B in this particular example. And that's how we do that.